Whether powered by V8 or W12, the regular Bentley Continental GT can do great things, but it's not necessarily a great driver's car. It's enormously sure-footed and genuinely nimble for such an enormous car, and it's as clever and safe as it is fast, but it's not necessarily involving. The new Continental GT Speed aims to change that. Aside from being the fastest Continental GT in the range, as its name suggests, with the most powerful version of the W12 engine, it also aims to be the most appealing to keen drivers. It's just as luxurious and opulent as the rest of the Conti range but aims to be more agile and exciting. To that end, it has what the company describes as the most advanced chassis any Bentley has ever had. The Speed gets an electronically controlled limited slip differential, or ELSD, at the rear, a first for Bentley, retuned software for the active all-wheel drive system, it's much more rear-biased in sport mode, but still sends torque, up to around 18%, forward on corner exit, and rear-wheel steering, helping the speed turn into low-speed corners more dynamically and keeping things stable in the quicker stuff. It's the same system fitted to the Flying Spur, but with speed-specific software. Other Continental GTS aren't available with rear steer. The Speed also gets its own electronic stability control, escape, software, called Charisma Dependent Escape. Ignore the baffling name, in essence it allows a broader spread in behavior between the driving modes, and more freedom when the escape is in its more lenient modes. If it senses the driver is intentionally throwing the car into a slide, it supports them, rather than aggressively damping down power and grabbing brakes to straighten things up. Like the standard Bentley Continental GT V8 and W12 models, the Speed also has torque vectoring by braking, three-chamber air springs with adaptive damping, active all-wheel drive and 48V active anti-roll control, an option on the V8. So, there are a huge number of different active systems at play, all of which need to talk to one another fluently, the complexity at play beneath the Speed's surface is quite something. Aside from speed-specific 22-inch wheels, there's a darker tint to the radiator grille and some detail trim changes including commendably subtle speed badging. As standard the exhausts look like giant ellipses, but the car tested here has the optional Acropovic Quad Exit Sports exhausts. It has a gruffer, woo-flyer tone than normal but still sounds muted in the car, especially wearing a helmet. There are speed scripts stitched into the seats and the option of Alcantara everywhere. Once the doors are closed with a muted thunk there's the usual rich smell of expensive materials, and the same lovely control weights and fine trim shut lines, as the rest of the Conti range. As an £11,000 option, the speed can be fitted with carbon ceramic brakes which Bentley claims are the largest fitted to a production car in the world. Only available on the speed, they are 440mm in diameter, with 10 piston calipers on the front. That's only two less than in the engine bay, because it's powered by the familiar 6.0-liter W12 twin-turbo engine deployed in much of the Continental range since 2003. More than 100,000 W12s have now been built at crew. In the speed, it develops 650 brake horsepower from 50.00 to 6,000 RPM, compared with around 626 brake horsepower in the regular Continental GT W12 and 547 brake horsepower in the V8, but the headline figure is the torque. There's 664 pounds-feet across a torque curve flatter than Detective Norm Scully's haircut in Brooklyn 99, from 1500 all the way to 5,000 RPM. That makes the speed feel more than quick enough to live up to its name. It's thumpingly fast. On Silverstone's hangar straight, 160 miles per hour comes and goes with laughable ease, and if Stowe Corner wasn't in the way it would keep pulling all the way to 208 miles per hour.